to my channel so today's topic is the core basics of smc that is smart money concepts before i go further i always give a shout out to my coach um he did a wonderful job on me and i always appreciate him for taking his time to explain some things to me so firstly we are going to start with the core basics of smc we all know a smart money concept these are things that you must know to be able to be to be able to use this concept in analyzing the market firstly is market structure we all know how market structure works right higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high this is for what this is a what a bullish scenario this is a bullish scenario markets moves like this for a bullish momentum for a bearish momentum we have the lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and this is for what the bearish scenario so this is for markets when you want to buy market moves like this and when you want to sell market moves like this this is where market structure comes in i've done a video on market structure you can check it on my channel and watch it also to see how it is being created okay now where do we come in liquidity the second part is liquidity now for liquidity we have the old lows and the old highs and we have equal lows and equal highs i will still show you how it looks like on the chart also but we're going to start with a sketch now we have the higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high now when you see when you hear people say old lows all these lower lows here are what we call old lows and they are all liquidity are you with me they are all liquidity so market always comes back to take this is old lows old lows market always comes in and take what this is what they call sell sorry they call buy side liquidity market took out liquidity and came back either in institutional reference points that is where our third point comes in institutional reference points firstly how to use smc you first look for your market structure then you look for your liquidity external or internal liquidity see liquidity has been taken now that's the external liquidity or some people call it buy side liquidity for if you are going using a bullish momentum some people call this buy side liquidity or some people call this external liquidity market has taken out external liquidity and market is coming back for internal liquidity that's where institutional reference points comes in either the other block fair value gap or liquidity void then we get our entry and markets it depends on how you want to refine your entry if you're a swing trader day trader scalper however you want to define your entry and you get your entry so this is what we call our old lows let me delete this one so we can show you in a very clear way so all these points are old lows so it's higher high higher low do you see it higher high higher low for a bullish scenario for a bearish scenario we have lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low now these are what do we call this lower high so it's what old high and what happened here is sell side liquidity was being taken out that's why you hear people say sell side liquidity okay i'm right so it's liquidity has been taken out here sell side liquidity that's external liquidity taken out here also external liquidity taken out and what happens market comes back for internal liquidity that's what internal reference points other block fair value gap or liquidity void and you get your entry this is the whole summary of the core basics of smart money concepts now you come to your chart here you can see that what happened here is now four hours time frame there was what there was a market structure of what a change in what a change or shift in market structure here there was a shift in market structure here you can see that this is a mitigation block here and we also have an other block here because what happened other block here this other block was the closest after this fair value gap we come back again we had what liquidity being taken out this external liquidity that was taken out you can see it external liquidity that was the shift in market structure that was taken out and what do you see in scenario reference point we had our fair value gap we had our other block and we also had liquidity void we were able to get one and what happened we got our our shift here also we keep came out and took external liquidity and we look at it here and to come out for internal liquidity what do we see here we see what we see 
a fair value gap here and you can see market came in here it's reacting there and do you see it so market has taken an external liquidity coming back for an internal liquidity in that fair value gap other block or liquidity void so this is the whole summary of how the basics the, the core basic of smart money concepts don't forget to subscribe on my channel please ask your question in the comment section i try my best to reply everybody that asks me question in the comment section you can email me or whatsapp me i'll reply all questions and don't forget to subscribe on my channel thank you very much